Number 12. Two point charges exert a 5 newton force on each other. What will the force become if the distance between them is increased by a factor of 3? All right, so I think number 10 gives a good overview of this formula I'm going to use, all right? So you might want to check that one out. So here, the force of attraction or repulsion between two objects is going to equal the force constant K multiplied by the product between the two charges, the absolute value, that is, of the product between the two charges, Q1 times Q2, all divided by the distance between them, R squared, all right? So basically, uh, what we have here is, in this particular case, they're telling us that we're going to increase the distance between them by a factor of three. So I can set up a whole ratio thing and do it. It's just, it, it's not even necessary. What happens when R goes up by a factor of three? All you have to do is literally just plug in three there for R. Okay, so I'm just going to write this as equivalent now to the numerator state constant, so I'm just going to write the one. Plug in a three there for R and square it. So what are you going to get? You're going to get one over nine, right? One over nine. So what this tells us is that when the distance between them is increased by a factor of three, the force value now will be reduced to one ninth of its original value. Okay. In other words, right, if I had to equate this, the force now is going to be equal to one ninth of the original. All right. So, if the original was 5 newtons, what's 1 ninth of 5 newtons? Simple. Just multiply by 1 ninth, right? And that's it. So it's 5 ninths. So 5 over 9, you can get that in terms of a decimal if you like. All right? So that's going to be 0. 0.556 newtons. That will be the new force. All right? Not too bad. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care.